Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Capricorns. This is your year 2021. Okay, Capricorns. All right. What a beautiful, beautiful sight. Whoa, Capricorns. So, Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. What is going on? All right. So, you have a, a lot of massive major arcana. A lot of massive major arcana. You are taking down things. When we look at the say the first uh, um, six months, um, so we have uh, January, February, March, April, May, June. First six months, we see new contracts could be coming up in the first month. The second month, the energy of the magician in February, that is good, positive. You have everything that you need to become a success in the month of March. A new start is going to be coming out in the month of March for you guys. This is wonderful. So you're coming in... Uh, um, this year, 2021, having new contracts is going to be given. So if you're looking for a job in uh, January, February, March, it's going to be a yes. Okay. And it's just going to be good. Uh, a lot of you could be starting your job in March. Then when we look at April, I see an offer could be coming up in April for a lot of you. And um, happiness and joy in May. And in June, you are bringing down and digging out and showing up some sort of a um, situation and finding out things. You're bringing down a judgment call in June. So this is going to be wonderful and aligning with a lot of positive energies because you're definitely going to be taken down a whole lot of situation that was transpiring and showing up what was happening and um, you are going to be creating a lot of possibilities for yourself. Then when we look at uh, the second half, you begin the second half of the year with the energy of the sun. Um, then you are shedding light on some sort of a secrecy that was going on. And you are going to be coming out a very, very successful. Um, people are going to be aware and aligned. And you're going to be extremely, extremely successful showing up the truth of what was going on in a corporation institution and bringing back a balance because in the month of uh, September, you're going to be healing whatever the issues and the problem is in your company or business and shedding light on what was transpiring. Then in the month of October, I see a tower moment because some sort of information that you brought out in the month of June um, is bringing down a tower moment in October. November, the energy of the devil is going to be down. And in December, you are bringing back things to balance with the earth energy. So this is a powerful powerful alignment of energy that is transpiring um, for you that is going to be bringing you stability your best month is going to be january february march um may uh april may uh june uh september and december okay so the month of uh, um october you're bringing down some sort of a tower energy bringing down some sort of a, a negative um energy that was and that that secrecy is going to be coming out about something that was uh, that was happening and it's as if you're clearing up 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 and you are taking back your powers okay so this is wonderful so Let's move in and look at January. What is coming up in January? We have the energy of contracts, okay? So in January, the strong partnership thrives on different on, on differences, standing strong and standing in your um, you know, standing up against anything that is coming to you and standing your ground apart to be the better together okay so what is happening and transpiring is that partnerships is coming in many forms of partnership professional platonic um friendship on the workload that sort of a thing no matter what type of partnership you're faced with you're going to be good um at this a whole lot of people are going to be wanting to partner up with a lot of you so people might want to be on your team people want to um work together with you 
this is going to be absolutely good because I see in January a lot of people, a lot of new partnership, a lot of business is going to be coming in and people want to really collaborate with you. And I see people are going to be realizing that you are very good at what you do. So January is uh, looking good. January is uh, um, going to be a month that you're opening up this 2021 in a really positive way. In the month of February, you have the energy of the magician, and this is good because you're um you're one with the heart and with the cosmo, okay? And your powers to surge through your own self is going to be good. So it's as if uh, anything you do in February is going to be absolutely fabulous. People are going to be um 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 you know uh, really connecting to you and um, a great achievement is going to be coming up in February for a whole lot of you. A whole lot of you, a great achievement is going to be coming up in February for a whole lot of you. And you're going to be mastering a lot of things because you have the knowledge and skill um, to do this. So February, you're going to be like creating magic um, at work and in your your work and career endeavor. And that is going to be good. So congratulations again, Capricorn. Then we see in the month of March... You are stepping forward into the unknown with full trust that the universe will show up and support you. And yeah, you know, some of you are going to be doing something that you were not even, you had no knowledge and skill, but you tried it and you realized that, whoo, I'm good at this. And you are going to be stepping out and really showing up for yourself. And this is going to be absolutely wonderful and positive. So this is going to be good. So um, you know, use the power within you, okay? Um, you're, it's as if the universe is going to be guiding you and you're going to be ex accepting whatever um, your move I'm guided to. So it's, it, this is like career, career changes is going to be coming up in March. So a whole lot of you, career changes, uh, job changes, uh, but mostly career changes and job changes is going to come up, uh, but you're going to be... Uh, I'm choosing the right direction. So this is going to be good. So January, February, and March in business is going to be looking good. As we look at April and May, June, um, what we're seeing here is really wonderful, really um, fantastic. Um, the energy of some of you dealing with some sort of a news where this news is going to be coming in where people are going to be, um, you know, this is earth and water. Um, this, this, this energy of, uh, the page of cups in the month of April is hurt and water. Okay. And, uh, this hurt of water is you're getting back to basis. Okay. And, um, you know, bringing back stability in whatever situation that was out of, uh, um, out of range, you know, like contracts and that sort of a thing, taking the stand to find, um, joy and build in, and this is a situation where April is like, um, you know, you have gone through, you have found a job, you're getting through, and people in April is going to be showing appreciation to you. Whatever is happening and transpiring, people are really, really going to be showing some sort of appreciation to you. And it's, you, you know, it's going to be appreciating what you are doing at the workplace and how you are, you know, uh, your, your skills and experience, how you're using them in the right and proper way in order to get, uh, um, people stability and to give people stability in, um, at the workplace or creating jobs and, and that sort of a thing for people. And I see that this is, uh, Definitely what is going to be coming up and what is going to be transpiring. So this is going to be absolutely fabulous. And, you know, expect um, um, acknowledgement in the month of April, except a whole lot of acknowledgement in the month of April. And this is going to be good. As we look at the month of May, another positive month. So it's like the first six months is going to be good in a business and career for you guys. Um, we have... The exaltation of the element of water. So a whole lot of openness. Uh, um, you know, things are good. You feel good where you are. Um, your dreams and wishes, the dreams that you were working for, the goals that you wanted to bring in is going to be happening for you. Freedom from all the stress and worries. 
um, because it, it could be tax time for some of you that were doing tax, but some of you could have started a new job in March and in uh, April, people are really um, showing appreciation. And in May, it's as if you sit good. You sit good in May because you show up for yourself. You realize that your skills, you're very experienced in what you're doing and uh, your skills and knowledge is being seen and this is going to be good. So wonderful, wonderful alignment of energies is coming up. As another major arcana comes up for the month of June and uh, this major arcana that comes up for uh, in the month of June is judgment. Okay, so you're ending um, this um, first six months with judgment. So um, you um, Capricorns are going to be digging deep. Okay, and it's going to be clearing the soil, um, digging deep to find out information, knowledge, wisdom, guidance, and keeping what you know to yourself. Okay, and you got to look out for your health because you could be overworking yourself in the month of June. So look out for your health. Try and take some time off in the month of June. Okay, so across um, section of the um, of the hurt is being revealed. So uh, some sort of a cross section, you're going to be finding out a whole lot of information, a whole lot of information. So you're going to be discovering all sorts of surprises. Okay. Um, some of them is pleasant, some of them is not. But whatever the information and whatever the skeleton that was existing on the other side, um, long ago, buried and forgotten, examine them carefully. Treasures can be um, received and treasures can be also very deceiving. So I see that you could be writing a book. I see that some of you could be writing a book and investigating a whole lot of things in June, writing a book and it's going to be investigating and, you know, um, put in. So you could be a creative person and you're going to be digging deep and, and creating a lot of things, but you're going to be start studying new method, new uh, things in the month of June. And this is going to be good. So June is also not a bad month, but it depends on how you look at it. So what we see, um, a lot of new contracts and other new people are going to be wanting to, you know, invest in you or connect with you or work with you. And um, teamwork is going to be very good in this first half year. Then I see um, people are going to be find out that you have uh, the wisdom, the knowledge and the experience and the skills um, of who you are and your career. And you're going to be um, recognized for this uh, in the month of February and May. Then we look at... Um, a new start you're going to be having a new start and like you could be getting a, a big job opportunities and you're going to be investigating a whole lot of business and a whole lot of uh, information and you're going to be finding a whole lot of information digging deep and investigating and finding out a whole lot of information and showing up things that people were not aware of and i see that you or you could be taken on in a very um um uh, a huge international company and they're going to be asking you to investigate a whole lot of things and you're going to be very good at it so um congratulations capricorn wow what a beautiful reading all right let's look at the other half of the year the other half of the year we're dealing with uh, the energy of uh, the sun the moon and the star um, so we have success in the month of July. In August, some sort of information comes out that you reveal. And in September, I see another successful situation at work. But the success in July is huge, huge success, okay? Um, this is like it in the chart with an issue, with a situation, some sort of information that you give out and you found out in July and you gave this out, they are going to be very successful um, in July. So in July, it is the season of growth, okay? So believe in yourself, no matter what it is. Believe what your eyes tells you and believe nothing is hidden from view, okay? 
So it is as if you are showing up and you're believing in what your eyes is seeing, but you're realizing that you can see also beyond the illusion. The answers you seek is right in front of your eyes. If there is someone in your life whose intention has been hard to read, step back and from trying to discern some hidden meanings and look at their words and action this is what i've always done especially in business so, and that is where i realized that where people are coming from and that is what you're going to be doing and that is going to be giving you huge success over other people at the work and in your career then we're looking at the energy of the moon that is in august so some sort of a secrecy in august okay so um they've deep in the dark still waters within answers and secrets await past the edge of the fair so whatever is happening in um august there is some sort of a fair in the month of august Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, some sort of affair in the month of August. And what they're saying is look beyond, okay? is the greatest adventure we can embrace upon is the one to the root of our affairs, okay? Daring to expose the unknown. So some of you could be starting a new job. Some of you could be taking on something new. Some of you could be starting your own business and it's um, you know, unaware of what to expect. But if you notice here, there's a little golden, there is a couple golden coin. As you take this new part in the month of uh, uh, August, uh, there is a pot of gold at the end of this new part. So if some of you decide, oh, I'm going to try something, I have no idea. I don't even know how it works. Uh, listen, there is the energy of the moon that is lighting your, your lighting the way on your part. And if you notice, uh, you are walking towards and whatever this new thing is, um, it could be something that is unexplainable, some sort of a new unexplainable situation that is going to be opening up where your psychics could be kicking up or your um, in intuition and your experience, your skills. And it's as if you're going to be walking apart to something else and it's going to be bringing you a lot of uh, um, financial stability. Here you see as you take the part, if you're changing job, if you're going to be doing some sort of a on, uh, unexplainable, um, it's as if you just get up and said, oh, I'm going to change my job or I'm going to go visit someplace. Look at that. Um, you're going to be guided by your soul family and your starseed family. And so if some of you decide, oh, I'm going to be starting to do spiritual work or you're pushed or guided, Go for it because it's going to create a pot of gold for you. So August is also going to be good. As we look at September, the month to remember. Wow. September, uh, wonderful, wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. And I did not pick these cards. They just came out in the position where they came out. The agent, um, divine force of uh, receptivity and creativity, pulse within your being let it move within you let it move within you whatever is happening whatever is transpiring let it move within you because you is as if you capricorns uh, is going to be receiving this influx of knowledge wisdom and you are going to be like uh, out of the blues changing your career and that sort of a thing some of you step in the unknown here and um by stepping in this unknown, following this part, there you go, you're a success in the month of September. So, you know, it could be a job, a career changes. It could be something that you have never, ever thought of doing. It could be some sort of unconventional situation that you step in there and all of a sudden, boom, um, all of a sudden, uh, you are a huge, huge success in September, okay? All right, so let's look at November, October, the last three months, October, November, and December, the last three months. So we have a fire. We have the energy of uh, two eyes, fire, and hurt. So a lot of fast movement, a lot of work, a lot of uh, um, stress could be happening. Um, but in October, everything that is not built uh, um, on solid ground is going to be crumbled, okay? So um, be aware of this Capricorn. 
if you build a business and it's not on solid ground, it's going to be crumbled, okay? Um, so be aware of this. New worlds emerge through um, you creating um, yourself and recreating yourself. So, so, so some of you are going to be like peeling off the thing where you used to stay and do people work or you used to help people. You're going to be like, no. Um, you know, each and every one of us was taken on for a job to do our job very, um, um, in a very positive way. And yeah, it is up to you if you don't want to do your work. I can't do your work and my work. So I see a lot of you in October is going to be real like, like stepping back. Some of you could be, um, getting rid of people. You're going to be, um, you know, rebuilding your company. Um, some of you who, um, is in a position to make this decision. Some of you manager of to be stripping. So you're going to be going back to look at other people records and stripping, um, who stay and who leave. So that is going to be coming up in the month of October. I see that in October is going to be you Capricorns are going to be in that position to make the decision of who stay and who leave because you Capricorn is going to be, um, removing and taking down uh, some sort of, uh, um, uh, you know, situation that was transpiring and you have to make decision, but or not, you're going to be moving forward with a group of people on your team or in your company, or, um, if you're going to be moving on in that company, because you could realize that you had a little side job at home and that is doing, and is, you know, bringing more money in than the job that you're working at. So you're going to be thinking in October, am I going to be going full-time in my part-time job? and creating so that is where the energy of the tower comes in in october you making a decision to leave a job and go work for yourself full time that sort of a thing or um, whatever is happening and transpiring some sort of information that you brought out in june is going to be bringing back some sort of a balance in july so let's see what you're having in the month of november another fire energy the only thing that blocks your way is fair remove your fear okay take risk okay but take careful risk okay risk and you will be set free so a lot of you in, in, in november feel as if uh, you're being controlled okay consider that anything you think uh, you can have uh, or can do you simply don't have access to it right now but yet still so the power within us is going to be manifesty so this is what i've been saying to a lot of people watch my lives um i have my lives on the other channel watch my lives i'm going to start bringing lives with business on this channel and watch my lives and then you are going to be seeing and um, what is going to be coming up. So November, you're going to be having some sort of a tricky situation, but um, you have the power to resolve this, okay? So I see the energy of the devil, but I see um, the moment is going to be coming down because something you have found out in June is going to be taking down some sort of a deceptive play that was happening and transpired, okay? So you are going to be resolving a situation in the month because you're going to be taking down this deceptive play that was transpired. All right. So we have the energy of temperance, whatever that was happening and transpiring. Um, we have the energy of temperance in the month of December. It's the earth energy. So you're cooling down and releasing yourself in the, the month of December. So, um, temperance, draw in your, um, extremity and literal and um, metaphorism to rediscover your center so you have to take back your energy slow down slow down for a moment december is the month to slow down for a moment see how still you can become notice where your energy is as is a uh, fleeting to go okay what tasks and obligations do you have in December? You need to slow down in December. Whatever is going on, take time off in December. So that is like taking vacation. Take vacation. Slow down. Take vacation. Um, you're going to be taking your vacation in December. Go away. Um, you know, the month of December is the month to slow down. So when the, when, you know, slow down, come in is about taking some sort of a, 
um, rest in December, okay? Because you have uh, be powered through this year. What a beautiful year, Capricorns. It's going to be a beautiful year. All the secrecy that was kept is going to be over. A lot of you are going to be expectedly getting some sort of a new contract in this year. I see people are going to be appreciating the work and how you investigate things and uh, show up things and finding out things and helping other people. Um, then we see um, you're going to be successful over a negative situation that has affected your life. Um, a lot of you, a negative situation at the workplace where people has done you, um, you know, injustice at a workplace and you're going to be really accessing that situation and seeing. Then we see that love and appreciation for your work um, is going to be uh, transpired. I see at, um, you're going to be standing up and removing some sort of a secrecy that was happening in corporation institution and it's going to be bringing some balance um, to this, okay? New contracts, new business endeavor and ending um, some sort of a secrecy in corporation institution. People are going to be appreciating what you have to give and I see you're going to be successful overcoming some sort of a negative play that people try to play you but um, you are going to be coming out, uh, whether as a star or um, balancing out. And it is advisable. M month of December, take um, rest. I got to go. Namaste.